Alright guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. I'm back out with a car today. Just wanted to do a follow-up video to one I'd done a couple of weeks ago about car camping and some of the stuff that I've been looking at to uh, try and get things rigged up so that when I go out on a, on a DX trip I can sleep in the car rather than needing to pack a tent or uh, find a campsite or whatever. So I'm going to rig the car up now so that it gives us the room we need and then I've got some bits I want to try out. So I showed you in the other video how I uh, flatten the seats out, push the uh, back seats forward and all of that just to create more room in the back. And uh, I've got a, an inflatable mattress I want to give a try plus a few other bits. So we'll, we'll start loading the back up, see how much room we've got, see how likely it is that it's going to work out. So since I shot the last video I had a problem with uh, the inflatable mattress that I tried to use, a big double mattress and just wasn't going to fit in the space so I've gone out and bought sort of a, a double and single um, inflatable mattress you can have it as a as a double um, or you can stack them up and make it a single but sort of double height and I thought that would be the best thing to do and then um, the other thing I thought I'd get is a, a battery powered pump so obviously there won't be power um, where I am and I don't fancy blowing it up uh, by mouth or whatever so um, hopefully this will do the job um, we'll get it out of the box now see what we can do so I got it out of the box and I've just unrolled one of them for now just to have a look at the length uh, and it is not massively too long but uh, as it stands it's going to be a little bit too long with everything shut the doors and the, the boot but I think if I inflate it with everything shut um, it should work so let's just have a go at doing one and then uh, if that works out we'll we'll double it up with the other one and uh, if it works it should be good so I got the first one inflated and uh, as you can see it is a little bit too long so I've just, just bent it over but as long as I keep the boot shut um, it should give us what we need uh, might be a little bit too short but we'll we'll do the other one just to see what things look like I mean even if I just had this it would be enough uh, and I'd also have the option to uh, sort of lay it diagonal so it, it does lay flat when you do it like that but uh, we'll try the other one because that would be the ideal so we'll crack on with that put the second one on and uh, works out quite well actually um, does need to sort of fold up at one end but I've been in it and I've laid down and it's it's a little bit too short but uh, I would be comfortable enough like this to be honest it's just like sleeping on a sun lounger or something I suppose the other option is to sort of move it diagonally a little bit because it will give you a slightly longer surface to uh, to lay it flat so yeah that works well so yeah I've got the choice then to have just a single mattress or the double mattress I do like the extra height so uh, there's also some other bits that I want to get out and try out in the car so I'll go grab those bits and we'll take a look at those I've gone and got a bunch of other stuff that I'd want to take with me um, so gonna try out a couple of things now that the uh, mattresses are in the car uh, just to see sort of how much space there is and uh, make sure that I can get everything in there um, on the right there the red thing is is a is a big old tent it's like a six-man tent I probably would take it with me anyway uh, even if I didn't use it the idea being that obviously if I wanted to camp properly I'd put the tent up uh, but also possibly use it as a almost like an awning so I'd still sleep in the car but I'd have the, the tent behind the car perhaps um, with the extra room that it, it, it gives so uh, it would be quite comfortable doing that um, I've grabbed a water cooler just quickly uh, although it's not the right one um, I've got an electric one that will plug into the cigarette lighter in the car that would be the ideal but it's the same sort of size and shape so I can sort of test that everything will fit in and then um, the silver thing is a fold away table just going to have that really as a as a nightstand is the idea then there's a, a big water bottle again I've got a slightly smaller one but I'm going to need to bring water with me so um, I would have it packed away somewhere probably a smaller one than this as I say but uh, just want to see how it will fit and then obviously a little stove uh, just a little gas powered stove camping stove so uh, that's another thing I'd want to use and then the last thing is a, a little lamp a little battery powered light um, which again will be useful when it gets dark 
I'd also bring a torch, stuff like that. But uh, just in terms of the things that I'd have in the car, this this is what I tend to want. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB Radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. Got everything I want to get into the car now and uh, got to say I'm quite pleased with it all. Um, the mattress you've already seen, but I've got the uh, the stove sitting on top of the cooler, uh, and then the water bottle, and then just by the bed would be the uh, the little table and the the lamp, um, and that's pretty much ideal. Uh, there'd still be more stuff. I'm going to need to put the the tent. I'm keeping the passenger seat. Um, I'd need to have a container as well to have things like a kettle and a and a, a pot and stuff like that for cooking um, the other thing to say is that I, I wouldn't cook uh, with everything shut everything confined and I'm gonna jig some stuff around now just to show you what I think would work better um, also a camping chair uh, I bought out but didn't mention before again I mean, want to have something to sit on when I'm not sitting in the car so I'm gonna try moving some stuff around and just show you what would happen um, when I'm cooking and stuff like that. So I shuffled some bits around, just, just moved the mattress over to one side and uh, this is what I would probably do when I'm cooking. Um, got the boot open um, and, uh, and it's safer to do that. It also means that you know I can sit out, get the chair out and all of that stuff, which I'll probably do in a second actually. Um, but just to show you, the, uh, the actual boot because it sits up there will give you a certain amount of cover in terms of rain and stuff but the other idea that I had is that obviously I'd have a, a tarp with me I could spread the tarp over there and I've got a couple of poles so I could actually spread that out quite far and that would give you a good degree of cover in terms of rain and wind and stuff like that so I'd give that a try so I just pulled the chair out just to show you really um, that'd be me cooking and uh, sitting under the the lid of the boot if you like and uh, I, I see that working quite well when we get out there so uh, quite pleased with how that's all worked out um, still some more bits and pieces I'd want to get together before uh, before I head out but pretty confident that it'll work well so happy with that and this is what we'll be doing when we do uh, a couple of the DX trips that I've got planned this summer camping in the car so all good stuff um, as I always say, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you'd like to see more CB Radio related videos, then hit the subscribe button now. And I'll see you in another YouTube video soon. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now. And new for 2018 is my CB Radio playlist.